The next problem is number 73, and it's going to be a weak-based strong acid problem. So hopefully it's not as common of a problem as we've been doing. Um, and we're going to do parts B, D, and E. So it's the same kind of situation. You have a 25 milliliter sample of a 0.175 molar weak acid, and uh, weak base, and we're going to titrate it with 0.15 molar HBr, which is a strong acid. So we're going to determine the volume of acid required to reach the equivalence point. As always with equivalence points, remember millimoles of acid equals millimoles of base. So we need to use our M1, V1, M2, V2 formula to find the V2 that would be needed to add it. So to get to the equivalence point. M1, V1 equals M2, V2. So then it's just a simple plug and chug. And remember you can leave it in milliliters. And we're going to solve for V2, rearrange and solve, and we get V2 equal to 29.2 milliliters. 29.2 milliliters. Okay, and then we have, it's bad too. We're going to determine the pH at half the equivalence point. Now remember, there's half the equivalence, equivalence point and the equivalence point. Remember, this is not a strong acid, strong base kind of problem. So 7 as a pH is never going to be involved. So at pH at half the equivalence point for a weak base strong acid problem is simply going to be um, the pKa of the conjugate base. Oh, I guess I should give you all a Ka. Um, where did it go? It's off the table. So Ka equals 2.72, or sorry, 2.27, it's 10 to the negative 11. So Ka equals that. All right, so now we're still going to do pH equals pKa. And pH... And then we go from there. So we're just going to get the negative log of 2.27. And that is going to be equal to... Ten point six four. So it's the pKa of the conjugate base, right? Because we can't obviously have a Ka of the weak base, so we have to use the Ka of the conjugate base. So, but remember, even at a weak acid, strong base kind of problem, whenever you have a weak involved at half the equivalence point, we're working with pKa. Versus at the equivalence point, what kind of problem? This is going to be a... Since we're doing a weak base, strong acid, we're really going to just find um, the equivalence point pH using a Ka problem, a weak acid problem like we used to do in the last chapter. So don't get the half the equivalence point and equivalence point confused. So for the pH equals pKa at half the equivalence point, but at pH at the equivalence point, we're going to have to do a weak acid problem. So remember, we have to do another step two. We have to do the step one is going to be, as always with a lot of these, a dilution. And then step two is the weak acid problem using Ka for, PK, for pH and the shortcut method. So the dilution is our first step. So how are we going to get the dilution? We're going to do over here. I'll change colors. So the dilution, remember, is still moles over total volume. So we have to figure out our new our moles, and then we have to figure out our total volume. So moles is going to be, or millimoles, we're going to have millimoles equal to moles of acid, and which is equal to the 
what we have at the equivalence point. So at the equivalence point, we know we're going to have um, here we go. Sorry, lost my place. 4.375 millimoles to the equivalence point. And we know that from this formula. So if you do that, um, 0.175 times 25 should be 4.375. Remember, this side equals a moles calculation. So we have moles to the equivalence point is the 4.375 um, millimoles. And then we have total volume. Total volume is now going to be, oh, sorry, we're going to have to, we started with 25. And remember, we added 29.2 over here to get to the equivalence point. So our total volume is 54.2 milliliters. So remember, you need to make sure you keep in mind what you've done at the equivalence point before when you solve for the volume added to the equivalence point because you're going to need the moles and the volume to find the new dilution. Okay, so now that we have a dilution, we still need to figure out our new, well, the point of a dilution is figuring out our molarity, right? So we need a new molarity, 4.375 millimoles over 54.2 milliliters. Remember, the millis will cancel, so it'll get a molarity. And the molarity is going to be around 0 0.081. All right, we have a new molarity. That's a bad one. 0 0.081. Okay, so now we take this as our new molarity, right, for the weak acid that is present. And we're going to use the Ka formula to figure out pH. Remember, we're always looking for pH, and so it's always going to be some form of pH equals negative log of hydronium. So we're trying to figure out the H+, plus, right? Okay, so remember from the shortcut method and the ice tables last semester, uh, last chapter, H plus for a weak acid problem, we have a shortcut formula, CM times KA, concentration times KA. So we have both those numbers, and that's just going to be um, the total of which, remember our um, KA is still... Okay, we're going to have, oh, I forgot that number, 0 0.081 times 2.2727 times 10 to the negative 11. But when you solve that out, hydronium concentration is, let me see if I have a room, keep going. Hydronium concentration is now 1.0. Small number. It's 10 to the negative 6. Now we have to take that and do back to this formula, right? We got to come up here and put it in there. So we have to do pH wow, equals negative log of this number. And we're looking at three five point eight seven. I use the right number. Yes. Okay, so that's how we have it at the equivalence point. So to review, if I can move all this down, which is gonna be really hard. Um we have the equivalence point, M1, V1, M2, V2, like we always do. Keep in mind your volume that was required, and remember that if we, what the moles were to get to this volume. Then pH equals pKa, half the equivalence point, and in this case, since it's a weak base, make sure we're still using the Ka of that number, because to get to pH, we need to be in Ka. Then, on the bottom over here, we did, can't even, you can't even see it. We did a dilution problem, so we need to figure out how much your moles were at the equivalence point. Remember, we're at the equivalence point, and that was from the part B, and then your total volume, 
and then we figure out a Ka problem. So then we just have negative log of hydronium, but you have to use Ka. Remember, you could, you're still supposed to technically do an assumption right here because you used a shortcut method. But that is our new pH at the equivalence point.